kings to the table. Let's have a discussion. Let's talk about it. Without further ado, let's get fired up. Ladies, if he mentions Kevin Samuels or the Passport Bros. And if she follows Drew Follow, run for the hills. If she doesn't have a father, run for the hills. If she doesn't believe men are the prize or supposed to be leaders, run for the hills. If she doesn't believe that it's happy couple, happy life, run for the hills. Men, if she doesn't go to the gym, run for the hills. If she doesn't know how to cook home-cooked meals, run for the effing hills. If she doesn't know what nurturing is, run for the hills. If she doesn't know five love languages, run for the hill. If she cannot name ten books, run for the hills. If her whole identity is social media and posting bikini pictures for the whole world to see and seeking validation, run for the hills, papi, te estoy diciendo ahorita, corrale. If this woman says, oh, I believe in equality, but never splits anything with you, run for the hill. If she thinks going out and drinking and partying all the time is a lifestyle, run for the hills. If she thinks, hey, babe, go ahead and put on a different out for me, is controlling, run for the hills. I let her talk. Shout out to uh, TT Baby. She's doing some amazing things. And uh, shout out to my boy here. He has his own platform. And is uh, trying to uh, get that dope boy Will. That's a cool brother. All right, and I'm just doing a, just doing a reaction. Remember, everything is audio today. Got to open up that ear gate. You know, once again, hit his platform up, show that brother some love. He's doing some amazing things. Keep strong, King. Got to pay respect to where respect is due. But my own girl, Tay Tay Baby, she said it right. You know, it's uh, feminine, friendly, fit, and so forth. Run for the hills. If she ain't on, if she don't have them good traits, run for the effing fucking hills. If she can't bring you peace, if she can't even just call just to check up on you, man, I'm just calling to check up on you. You okay? You hungry? You need me to bring you up something? Run for the fucking hills. It's something how women. A large number of women require all these standards, all these requirements. But what are you willing to do for your man? I don't hear that. But what do I hear? Oh, I'm tired of being independent. I, I'm tired of paying these bills by myself. I'm tired of, of, you know, carrying on. Shut the fuck up. This is what you wanted. You said you didn't need no man. Now you eating your damn words. But never once, never once do us men hear you say what you would do for a man. But everything that's coming out of your damn mouth, your mouth bucket, of what you want a man to do for you. Damn if you do, damn if you don't money so that you could talk to them that is so crazy to me because they're not going to be a traditional woman that would make sense if you was overseas and they were doing things traditionally but over here nah they, they're not going to be submissive it don't make no sense and then they don't even know how to really get a man they just gotta sit there and hopefully you make the approach patrice o'neill had a great piece about it i'm about to let y'all listen to it bro don't think that the woman chooses no, the guy no, no. Jack, Jack, let, me, let me let me say what you do you choose but it's not a choose like we choose. You choose, it's almost an unsatisfying feeling, your choice, because you have to choose as if you're scratching a lottery ticket, meaning you look at the, you survey the land and go, he's nice, and your skill, this is what I mean, your skill is to stand there and go, I'll get his attention so that he comes over with his skills, because you have no skill to get a man. Your skill is your beauty. 
You don't know how to get a dude. You don't know how to talk your way into nothing. You don't know how to talk your way into happiness. You never had to move and shake and talk and figure shit out and get rejected on a regular basis. And, 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 see, 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 there's, there's, there's something that you got to understand. You don't. And see, and that's the thing. See, then this is why we have men discussion. So this is why even when I do reaction, reaction videos, audio, I love it. When I when 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 the men talk, men talk, men straight talk. Why? Because even though this is a platform for men, but when you have it two or more speak on the same topic and share their experiences, share their testimonies, share their opinions. That's what I like. That's what I like right there. Because you're getting two or more people's different opinion on the same thing. They're just different. Different opinions on the same thing. And it's all love. You see? Men, here's the thing. I know the Bible says uh, men that finds a wife, he finds a good thing. See, women are quick to use that scripture. But you got to keep on reading it too. Don't just stop there. Men and women are the prize. So if a woman finds a good man, she'll also find a good thing. Because it's two good people that find each other. You see? A lot back then, a large number of women didn't know how it feels to get rejected until now. And they can't take it. Us men, we get rejected. All right, cool. Hey, sweetheart, how you doing? My name is such and such. My name is Big Truck. What's your name? I'd like to get to know you. Can I take you out to dinner? Oh, you, ha oh you, you have a husband? You're married? Cool. You know what? Lucky man, no problem. Have a blessed, peaceful day. No harm, no foul. The other way around, a woman get butt hurt. How the hell you reject me? I got this ass. You see my breasts? My looks, that don't mean nothing. Sex don't pay bills. You got to come with something better than that. That game's already been played, honey. That's not your existence. So of course not you don't choose a guy. A guy chooses you and you choose to go, I actually yes. did. Bro, I swear it is such a tragedy that Patrice O'Neill is not here to help men navigate this world, bro. He was literally ahead of his time. I don't know where he got the game from. But whoever he got it from, or if he came up with it himself, it don't matter. This man was a gem. What he said is so true. I always knew that, but the way he explained it made it make sense. You don't have any skills to get no man. Your skill is to sit there, look good enough for him to make the approach. Make yourself open for the approach. That's the only skill y'all have. Let's keep it real. All right, you really got to hear this video through. Don't just, don't just skip, right? So... I used to always say like, oh, men don't like women anymore. They're weird now. Like, it, it, you know, I'm not saying that they're bisexual or gay or anything like that. I'm just saying they don't like women anymore. But that was me being unaware of myself. So now that I feel like I'm, I'm becoming aware of myself and becoming. I'm going to stop it right there. I can understand where she's coming from because I get that too. I don't approach because. I don't approach women, something wrong with me. I must be gay Some, because I'm not approaching that woman. No, I watch body language, facial micros, whatever type of energy that that woman is putting on. Sometimes as a man, it's best to stay away. Sometimes even a man has to say no. And when you and, and when you deal with a man that walks in his anointing, that man can tell. Nah, she ain't she ain't even worth me saying a hello. I'm not gonna speak. I see you shoot down other dudes. I'm not gonna be another statistic and try to shoot my shot with you. I'm gonna walk right past you and keep it moving. Cause it's something about your spirit that sends a red flag before you open up your mouth and begin to speak. 
and aware of my habits, I wouldn't like women either. Like the shit that we be doing, it's exhausting. It's really exhausting. And it's like, I wouldn't text you back either. I would mislead you too, because, because it's emotionally draining dealing with women who aren't aware of themselves. Like you wanting everything from me is gonna drain a man if I'm a man. I, I understand that that might not make sense, but I'm saying if I'm a man, and a woman comes to me and she's expecting all these things from me and she doesn't even give them to herself, I wouldn't like your ass either. Yes, you're fine, you're attractive, but you're looking for me to validate your entire existence through a relationship. You're literally looking for me to validate everything about you through me while I'm still trying to figure out me. I wouldn't like me either as a man. I swear to God I wouldn't. Shout out to the sister. At least she's speaking honest. She's speaking facts. And and that comes from knowing your worth. Here's the thing. All these requirements coming from these coming out these women's mouth. This delusional shit. Y'all tell on yourself. You want all these things from men. But not once. Do you tell a man what you would do for him? I believe there's another viral video going around. A woman, obviously she works at a hospital because she has a scrub, working a 13-hour shift. She came home and cooked dinner for her husband. And she got shamed for it. Let me guess. The hens begin to cackle. we have to do better as women loving on ourselves because we don't love them pr properly because we don't love ourselves properly uh fellas they finally starting to understand what we be talking about bro this one here is taking accountability she realized that man damn if i was a man i wouldn't even want a woman like myself that's th that dope boy will much love my man much love my brother my brother i'm gonna leave y'all with this I tell women, don't ask for something that you're not ready for, nor can't handle. I'm going to say it again. My message to women, don't ask for something that you're not ready for, nor can't handle. You got to be able to handle a good man. You got to be able to keep a good man. You have to be something of, to offer something of value to that man. And it's not just between your legs and what's behind you. I'm talking about something of value. You figure that out. Let me give you a hint. Offer love. Offer peace. Offer kindness. And all that I say, I say teamwork. If you're not a team player, then you're going to get cut from the team. You're not worthy to be on this team. As a king, he needs his queen. But a queen protects her king. Together, they protect each other. Take that with you. It's going to be great.